Welcome back. I hope you are doing great. As a part of this video, we'll introduce you to SQL. To understand SQL, let us understand why do we really store the data. If you have watched our earlier videos, we have already discussed about it. Can you just pass a video and think about it? We store the data to derive insights, right? If you remember, to derive insights. We store the data to derive patterns. We store the data for future use. In order to derive patterns, in order to derive insights, we need to access it, right? Or we need to retrieve it first, then subject that for further analysis to derive patterns. So how do we retrieve it? Any thoughts how do we retrieve it? Very simple. We can retrieve it or access the data stored in a database through SQL or we can also call it as a SQL. So what is SQL? What is SQL? SQL is a structured query language designed for storing, retrieval and management of the data in relational databases. So as we discussed, we want to store the data so that we can retrieve and subject it for the further analysis to derive patterns and insights. In order to retrieve and management of the data stored in relational databases, we use structured query language. What are the different features of a structured query language or SQL? First thing is high performance. Whenever you have a heavy workload and high usage of the databases for any highly transactional purposes, SQL provides high performance programming capability to retrieve and subject the data for analysis. And it has high availability. What do you mean by that? As you know, RDBMS are different vendors like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle and all those things. SQL is compatible with all of them. It's in a way available in most of the RDBMS systems. SQL is highly scalable and flexible. If you want to create the table, yeah, go ahead and create it. If you want to delete the tables, yeah, you can delete it. Or if you want to delete a particular row, go ahead and delete it. So it is very much scalable. If you want to add something, you can add. If you want to delete something, you can delete. It is very much flexible in terms of storing the data, retrieving the data, or subjecting the data for any analysis. As we understood, in any organizations, it is not advisable for everybody to look at all the kinds of the data, right? Even including the startups to big organizations. Everybody need not see everything. So in that case, there is a necessary for having the users have access to a particular set of data that is provided by having high security by providing a permission on tables, procedures, views, depending upon the team in which team members are working. It is helpful for comprehensive application development. So we can use SQL to program application to access the database. We can also have a robust transaction support. So SQL can handle large records and manage numerous transactions. We do have many more features, but let us restrict our video for these features. Wonderful. Welcome to the world of SQL. Let us navigate and become good in SQL. Thank you.